Hi, I'm Jen McAllister, and this is the story of how I ended up sleeping on folding chairs in a Mexican hospital on my 19th birthday. So on my 19th birthday, I went to Cabo with my two best friends. <laughs> the reason I wanted to go to Mexico for my 19th birthday is because you can drink there when you're 18. We were staying at an all-inclusive resort, which was kind of amazing because everything is just already paid for. So you can just run wild and take whatever you want. On my actual birthday, we went out and we had a really, really good time. There's this place in Cabo that's like a row of, of bars, basically. It's kind of like a club scene. So we went to this uh, bar called Squid Row and that's where we spent our first night. It was, it was really wild. So the day after my birthday, I was, I was really hungover. We still have a few more days of our trip, so we decided to go out again. They were just getting tequila shot after tequila shot. We're at this all-inclusive resort again, so the shots are free. I decided that night I didn't really want to get that drunk because I'm, you know, just trying to survive. So I definitely wasn't taking as many shots as them. I think the first sign that the night was, you know, going to be interesting interesting is there was another girl at the bar who was legitimately out of her mind. She was just going wild. It was like classic drunk girl. She was screaming, she was talking to us and, and making jokes, and at one point she took her top off for the bartenders. They were having a good time with that. It was out of control and we were all just looking at each other like, it is 8 p.m. So we decided we're gonna go back where we went the previous night and, you know, turn up at Squid Row. So we order a taxi and as we're walking to the car, my friend trips over a trash can. I'm like, okay, here we go. We get in the cab and my one friend is just getting more and more drunk. He's slurring his words. He's not really able to make eye contact. It just wasn't a good sign. So by the time we get to the club, he's somehow even more drunk. So the first club, there's a $15 cover at the door. Like, maybe two other people are in the entire place. There was no one. It was empty. And then there's us, three tourists, two of which are incredibly drunk. Instead of taking a breather, my two friends just run straight to the dance floor and just start going crazy. They're like just dancing out of control, twerking, just being too much. And then one of the bouncers comes over and asks us to leave. At first I'm like, why? Because we're the only people who paid to get in there. But then I look at my two friends who are basically laying on the ground at this point and I understand. So I grab my friends and we go outside. And my most drunk friend is suddenly super mad that we had to leave. I lose sight of him for one second and when I find him again, he's arguing with the bouncer yeah. to get our $15 back. I'm trying to defuse the entire situation and I'm like, just let's go, who cares about the money? And then I look over and notice that there just so happens to be two police officers mm. watching this whole thing go down. So they come over and start to put my friend in handcuffs. I'm losing my mind, we're in Mexico, my friend can't go to jail here, we're 19 years old, like what, what even happens if he goes to jail? On top of that, the police officers don't really speak English and I don't really speak Spanish. So I guess the cops felt bad for for these Americans and they took the handcuffs off my friend and they just told me to take him straight home. So I grab my friends and I put them all in the first cab that I see and we go back to the resort. When we're in the taxi, things are starting to take a really serious turn. This is when my friend is clearly getting way too dangerously drunk. He has a trash can in his lap at this point, like in the back of the taxi. So we get back to the hotel and it's getting worse. He's basically like drooling and foaming at the mouth. And I make the decision that we have to go to the hospital at this point. Once the hotel staff realized what was going on, a cab was kind of out of the question. They just called us an ambulance. So we get there, they have to put him like in a wheelchair to get him into the hospital. We walk in behind him. It's like the smallest hospital I've ever seen in my life. They take my one friend into a room to start doing doctor stuff. And then my other friend goes to the bathroom. I'm pretty much left alone to kind of deal with the whole situation. Eventually, I found out that my friend who went to the bathroom was just passed out on the floor. So I'm in the waiting room, just like, how did this night get so out of hand? Then the people at the front desk call me over and they're trying to tell me how much this whole ordeal costs. I thought they were originally telling me the cost was $150. Finally, they take a piece of paper out and write, 
150, and then they write 1500, and they cross out the top one and circle the bottom one. $1,500. No fucking way. No way. So I take out my credit card and I pay for it because we really don't have any other options. They tell me that they have to keep my friend overnight and meanwhile, my other friend is still in a bathroom passed out. The next morning, which felt like maybe 30 minutes later, I woke up to the sound of roosters screaming and here I am just laying across folding chairs in a hospital in Mexico. So happy birthday to me. When my friend finally woke up, he was super confused. He didn't remember anything. And we all kind of just <laughs> were laughing because we could not believe that this is where our night ended up. So we gather our stuff. We go back to the hotel. On our last night in Mexico, we went out again because I guess we don't learn any lessons. So I guess the moral of the story is maybe don't get super drunk in a foreign country and end up in a hospital. I hope you guys liked my story, and if you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure to click over here and subscribe to MTV.